Hi, Elaine here. Today I'll be showing you how to use a great free app to quickly and easily make a Mojave boot disc for your Mac. It's always a good plan to be prepared for disaster, never more so than when it comes to your computer. And step one of that is creating an emergency boot disc for your Mac. There are several ways to make a boot disc, but Disk Maker 10 is one of the most hands-off, for which read, terminal-free ways to do so. And that's the way I'll be showing you. As with previous versions of OS X since Lion in 2011, Mac OS Mojave is available only as a download from the Mac App Store. It's a free update, so simply a matter of downloading it from the store. It'll be downloaded into your Applications folder and automatically run from there. There's one thing to be aware of though. As soon as it's installed from your applications folder, it will be deleted. Unceremoniously and without warning, it will just disappear. You can re-download it, but that takes time and bandwidth. So you have a couple of options. First, you could stop the automatic install and make a boot disk before it gets deleted. Or better still, make a copy of the installer in another location for future use. Dismaker 10 is available from dismaker10.com. It's a free app, although they do accept donations should you find it useful. Download and install it and you're good to follow along. I'm recording this on the day Mojave was officially released and already there's a version of Dismaker 10 available from the website that supports Mojave. So with the Mac OS Mojave installer downloaded from the Mac App Store and Dismaker 10 installed, we're ready to roll. So run Disk Maker and a prompt's displayed allowing you to select the installer to use to create the boot disk. As I've said, by default, a Mac OS Mojave is downloaded to your applications folder, but it doesn't need to be in that location for the following process to work. In fact, best practice would be to move the installer to a different location rather than let Mac OS delete it from the drive after you've installed it. Dismaker 10 makes an attempt to locate the installer. Now I used to copy mine to the desktop so I could see it and be sure it wouldn't be deleted after installation. But since I've now enabled iCloud Drive desktop and documents folders, meaning that all the contents of those folders synchronize across all my Macs, I don't want another almost seven gig transferred up to iCloud. So I would choose a different and most importantly, local destination. But wherever it is, DiskMaker will find it in the location you choose. If DiskMaker can't find the installer or you'd like to use a different version from the one it does locate, use the Use Another Copy button and select the installer that you require. The next step is to select the drive or device to be used as the basis of your installer. Now, the minimum you're going to need is an 8 gig USB stick. But be aware, not all USB sticks are equal, by which I mean some are unable to be used to boot your Mac. If you have a problem, the easiest option is just to try a different USB stick. You do have another option, as this dialog box mentions. That use another kind of disk option enables you to select a different type of disk entirely. It means taking a larger disk and partitioning it and installing different macOS versions to each partition. It's the kind of thing a geek does. And yes, I have one of those types of drives too. Next, you'll need to select the disk that you want to use as your boot disk. Disk Maker will display the disks it finds. All you need to do is select the one you want. In my case, my pen drive is helpfully called pen drive. So I'll select that one. A rather scary dialog box is next, warning you that the disk you selected is about to be erased. Confirm this is the correct disk and it's a simple matter of clicking the Erase then Create the Disk button and waiting for the process to complete. It also warns you to expect to be prompted to enter an administrator password. Then confirm you wish to continue. Dismaker then starts copying files. Now this can take a while depending on the speed of your machine and the speed of the drive that you've selected. For me, with a USB 3 pen drive, it took about 20 to 25 minutes. When the copying is complete, the installer is displayed in the finder window. 
Now, don't miss the rather alarming roar when the job finishes. I know I didn't. I'm used to it now, but the first few times it was rather alarming because back then I wasn't expecting it. Are you ready? Yes, that's the indication from Dismaker 10 that you're done. It's not a complicated process to undertake manually, but you might as well save any time you can. All the better to spend investigating the new options available to you in macOS Mojave. So let's recap. Download macOS Mojave from the Mac App Store. Then make a copy of the installer, leaving that somewhere safe. Download and install DiskMaker 10 from DiskMakerX.com. Make your disk. And it's always a good idea to check your boot disk actually works by booting to it. You don't want the first time you find out it's not working properly to be when you need it. Well, I hope that helps you. And if you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegiles.com VIP. If you've enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I always appreciate it when you share it with your friends. If you have any requests for specific tutorials, be sure to contact me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.